Hello there everybody, Dmod Gmod here, and welcome back to another episode of Poke Park Wii Pikachu's Adventure. And I'm feeling particularly lucky this episode. You wanna know why? Because literally the moment I started the recording, because I have a live subscriber account open on my computer, I don't know who it was quite yet, but somebody hit the subscribe button literally the moment I hit the record button. So, I don't know who you were, but thank you so much for your support, baby. I don't know who you are or why you subscribe, but... Aw, oh, Pikachu waving towards you. Yeah, that's me to you. Thank you. Thank you for being a friend. Anyways, though, in the last episode, we finished up business in the Magna Zone. Magna? Magma? Geez. No, it's Lava Zone. Not even Magma Zone. Lava Zone. There we go. And after completing business there, we came back to the meeting place and learned about the Sky Pavilion and how we need to find it. Unfortunately, though, no one around here actually knows where to find it. So, we are going to go to the Haunted Zone and help them find their leader and hopefully learn more about this Haunted Zone. And with the name the Haunted Zone, you better believe we're in for one heck of a ride. Here we go. Do you want to go to the Haunted Zone? Honestly, probably not if, we know, if we're being realistic here, but you know what? Screw it, baby. Let's go. Not the happiest of places, but I won't lie. This is one of my favorite zones in the game. Potentially my favorite. I really don't know which, which one would be my favorite. I like the iceberg zone. It's definitely not my favorite though. In fact, it's probably this or another zone we haven't seen yet. But besides the point, we're in the haunted zone, baby. First things first, drift blim sign. Always check these things out. They're very useful. Or I guess you could say they're very useful because you have to spend berries to use them. Eh? Eh? Okay, I, that was pretty bad. I'm gonna leave it there. But yeah, haunted zone. And what what more fitting for a haunted zone than a haunted manor? And here we are, the haunted manor courtyard, as I'm gonna call it. As you can see, there is a bunch of Pokemon all over the place. So let's get talking to some people. And there's also an attraction as we can see there, but we're going to ignore Tent to Grow for now. First of all, though, Stunky, talk to me, baby. Have you seen my big brother skunk tank? They say the haunted zone is really scary, but I don't buy it. I'll check it out with my big bro. Oh. Or fine, don't be my friend. Ugh, I don't like you either. <laughs> okay, but actually though, we need to talk to Skunky later, but for now we can just ignore him. Instead though, Riolu and Oh hey Glasscore, I'd buy Glasscore. Let's talk to Riolu. I'm exploring, but Griffin won't let me enter the haunted house. I have to clear Tangrove's attraction first. But I'm not worried, I've heard a tip about Tang Tangrove's swing along. They say you should hang on to the very end of each rope. Make your swings as big as they can be. That way you can jump to the next rope faster. You reach your goal quicker. Say, want a battle? Sure thing, Riolu. Okay, let's start. Alright, Riolu, let's see what you got. Oh, wow, that's a really fast aura fear. Jeez, that went like flying by. Oh my god. Alright, dodge that, and there we go. Luckily, Riolu is not steel type yet until it evolves, so quick attack is still good. That was impressive, and it was fun. Are you here to explore like me? I hope to see you in the haunted house too. I get the feeling one way or the other we're gonna end up in there somehow. All right then, that's our first good uh, good game of uh, battle here. Let's talk to Electro here. Electro. The haunted zone. I'm here to check out how scary this place really is. Uh, I guess the first thing to do would be clear tank of attraction. Um. Okay, I was kind of expecting to be friends with you, but all right, all right. Now, believe it or not, most people wouldn't be able to figure this out, but you see these trees here? You actually want to ram into them. Because you have Metapod in this tree, and I think you can see where this is going, but in the other tree, you have a whole different Pokemon. You have... Wait for it. Kakuna. Now, believe it or not, Kakuna is kind of a special Pokemon in my case, because he was the final Pokemon I befriended in Poke Park Wii on my very first 100% playthrough of this game, so he's kind of special. Also, he sounds terrifying, just warning you. Okay, not really him, it's Metapod, it sounds terrifying. Anyways, though, are you going inside the haunted house? 
Are there things better left unknown? Sounds kind of weird, but you know what? It's not bad. Compared to Metapod, at least. Metapod is terrifying. Metapod. That voice clip right there, he is so loud. You guys probably can't hear it all that well because of how I uh, tuned the audio for the videos. But he is stupid loud with that. Another fearless visitor. What will we see in the haunted house, I wonder? As you can see, they don't really have any interest with us for now. But keep them in mind for later, as you can probably tell. Now, there's one other Pokemon we want to talk to while we're out here for now. Actually, no, two more Pokemon. Uh, not Amy Palm, but the first one of the two is... Hey, Murkrow, get back here. Murkrow, get back here. Get over here. The no, frick, Murkrow, come on. Okay, there we go. I won't go in the haunted house. It scares me too much. You know what? You want to play Chase? Sure thing. Hey, let's begin. All right, Murkrow, let's see what you got. Now, with our extended dash, as you can see here... If I can do it right. Whoa! Okay, I'm going way too fast with the extended dash. Jeez. Uh, Mirko, you wanna... I'm too fast! I can't control myself. Jeez. Okay. So go full speed, just like... No, Skunky! We have to keep him in a certain range or else he doesn't get tired because he, like, gets to land early. So that's the... Nope, don't... Am I going to lose Chase because I'm too fast? Is that really going to be the thing here? Murkrow, please land. Holy crap! One second left. Jeez. That was way too close to what it should have been. There's some hope for you. I'll let you be my crony. Did you notice how I was slacking off this time? That's why you won. But it won't be like that next time. Dude, I had one second left. Don't worry about holding back because I'm, uh... You did pretty good. And, oh, Honchko's going to appear, apparently. Will he appear here, I wonder? Yep, there he is. Honchko's one of my more favorite Pokemon. It's such a cool design for a Pokemon. And plus, how can you not like a Pokemon with the species name of Big Boss Pokemon? It's Metal Gear Solid. Seriously. How can you not like a Pokemon like that? It's like everything's right about this thing. Anyways, though. This haunted house is full of ghost Pokemon. What? You're going in? You must be crazy. Don't go in. Oh no, I'm not scared of ghost-type Pokemon. Certainly not. <laughs> Would you like the battle? Sure thing. Shall we? Here I come. Alright, Honchko, let's see what you got. Uh, let's just not get in the way of that. Thunderbolt, and then follow up with Iron Tail for maximized damage. There we go, looking good. Uh, let's see what you got, Murkrow. Oh yeah, right, we just used the uh, screw you and your attack strategy. Poor Ambipom! Hey, this is for Ambipom. That's for Ambipom. Poor guy, he's just smiling and walking by and you have to ram into him. Poor thing. You are pretty skilled and you seem pretty courageous too. I'd rather have you use my crony, the Merc. Oh, damn, alright. Hey, I'll let you be my friend. I am friends with the great Haunch Crow. It is destiny, is it not? <laughs> Anyways, I may be getting more excited. Point is, Honchko is one of my more favorite Pokemon. I love Honchko. It's such a cool Pokemon. And finally, the last Pokemon we want to talk to about here, Gliscor. This haunted house is always dead quiet. Heh, <laughs> get it? Dead quiet? <laughs> Anyways, though. At only 2 HP. Really? I thought Gliscor would have more than that. However, the thing is, he dies at you still. I think... I think. Yeah, he still dies at you. However, you can't Thunderbolt him out of it, so it's a bit tougher in that way. But, two HP bars instantly make it so your po the Pokemon isn't that bad. Actually, I'm going to Iron Tail him out of it. Watch. Oh, it didn't work. Wake up Iron Tail. There we go. Wake up Attack Iron Tail. <laughs> I was trying to Iron Tail him out of his dive, but it didn't work. Challenging me fiercely despite my fangs and claws? I admire you. I'd like to be your friend. And there we go. The Glass scores our friend, too. Looking good. Now, I think that puts us at 120? 117. Okay, we're getting close. Now, believe it or not, for now, that's all the Pokemon we want to talk to on the outside of here. So, for now, it's time to go talk to Tangrowth. What's up? Thanks. Welcome! Have you noticed that the moon is in the haunted zone is always full? What is it about a full moon that puts a shiv in your spine? Anyway, I'm on the attraction here. I need 30 berries to play Tangrowth Swing Along. So, you want to play it? As you can see, the price is going up a bit, but honestly, 3,100 berries, we got nothing to worry about. Shall we start? Come right this way. I love when we hopped happily. He's like, yay! I have friends! Anyways, though, Tangrove Swing Along is our new attraction here. You're going to notice some similarities from a previous attraction. 
Swing and jump from one rope to the next. Beat the target time to reach your goal. So instead of it being a long jump, now it's a race along ropes. So swing the weird mode to swing the vine, or rope in this case. Uh, time it like usual. Basically, the, the controls are exactly the same as Venusaur's, except now it's a race and not a long jump. Whoa, I burped there. Jeez. As you can see, we have most of the Pokemon to play this event too, so we're actually getting a lot of the Pokemon done. Uh, who should we play with this? Oh yeah, I really want to show off something really funny, so I'm going to use Infernape. You can only do this with the uh, higher up Pokemon, but it's hilarious what you can do. Alright, Infernape, let's do this. Now watch this, this is amazing. You're supposed to go from uh, rope to rope. But, if you do it right, you can just skip an entire rope and just fly over like this. And I missed. Okay, let's just... You can just skip entire ropes if you do it right. And I'm not doing it right. Okay, you can just skip entire sections of the race just by if you, if you swing hard enough. It's incredible. I love it. As you can see though, the goal of 40 seconds with a 16 second record of Infernape. Yeah... This attraction is kind of easy, just saying. If you have trouble with this, you may want to rethink some life decisions. Just, just saying, buddy. <laughs> Anyways, oh, that was easy. Congratulations, you cleared my attraction. By any chance, are you collecting prison pieces? I knew it. I was taking a stroll in the forest, and a shiny prison piece fell from the sky, and I heard a mysterious voice. I told me to give this prison piece to whoever clears my attraction. Well, good thing we cleared it when we did, or else somebody else would have taken it, and that would have sucked. By the way, have you been in the haunted house yet? Well, you can tell Driftloom that you cleared by this attraction. He'll open the door for you. And with that, we also have a friend Tangrove, another Pokemon I really like. Gen 4 had some really cool Pokemon, and I'm not going to save my game until I confirm the recording hasn't screwed up. So, for now, we're not going to save. Anyways, though, with that being said, it's finally time for us to enter the haunted house. You clear Tangrove's attraction, I see. Well, now you may enter. And with that, he doesn't even open the door for you. It's, it's just unlocked now. Alright, guys. If we've seen anything from Pokemon Anime, Luigi's Mansion, or literally anything, you're never supposed to enter Old Manor at nighttime. But you know what? We're doing it. Enter the haunted house. I love how it's literally just called the haunted house. And Pikachu's like, eh, you know what? Let's go make some friends. <laughs> Alright, we're in. Welcome! You are the 999 visitor. What if they flip that upside down so you are the 666 visitor to the Marvelous Haunted Zone? <laughs> I shall be your guide, so please follow me. And yeah, here we are. Here, this way. Well, here we are. The Haunted House. One of my favorite locations in the Poke Park series. Anyways, for now, let's just go follow Duskull and see where he wants to take us. Hehehe, <laughs> the attraction takes place here. Guiding you through the darkness, adapting to destruction and chaos. Both of which you'll deliver when the bell rings. Jesus, alright. Don't piss off Dustnor, apparently. That's essentially it. Uh, what do you want to say now, Duskull? Behind this door lies a library. However, enter it you may not. The lady in the house has kept it cl close to prying eyes. Alright then. Now, we could keep following him, but more and more importantly, in my opinion, we got friends to make. But Umbreon, be my friend, you little crap. Okay, not really. I like Umbreon. I see that you have many friends. I wonder if you have connected this world in the world of spirits. You wanna play Chase? Alright, Umbreon. Okay, let's begin. Now, this Chase is gonna let us run around the house for a bit, so let's see what we gotta deal with here. So, as you can see, Umbreon is a pretty fast Pokemon. Unfortunately, though, we're faster. <laughs> pretty simple, but we got it. Wonderful. Let's be friends. Espeon will be here any minute. And Eden started screaming. <laughs> uh, anyways. But yeah, there we go. Espeon's here. Also, something I noticed when recording, and I've always like kind of knew this about me, but I can laugh. Like, I can laugh. I have had times where I literally just fell on the floor laughing. But for some reason, whenever I'm recording, my laughs, 
I'm still laughing, but it's not the same. You know what I mean? It kind of sounds fake, but I promise you it's not fake. It just comes off that way. I don't know why it is like that. Anyways, though. This house never changes. It's as if the... It... <laughs> Screw that one up. This house never changes. It's as if time has simply stopped. Shall we play Chase? Sure thing. Alright, Aspion, let's finally ram into you. Let's do this. I'm just gonna- you, I'm gonna mash one, you can hear this. I'm gonna mash one. <laughs> that actually worked! I mashed one and it actually worked! <laughs> I don't even know why that worked, but it did. Excellent, did you read my mind? I like you, let's be friends. Yes, mashing one lets you read people's minds. Remember, kid. Remember, kids. Mashing one lets you read minds. You know what? You know, wait. You know that I love attractions? Would you let me try Dust Norris? Uh, no offense, but you can go ahead and play it without me telling you to. It's a free thing, you know. Anyways, though, back to Dust Skull. What do you want to show me now? Beyond the door lies a hall, a place where ghost type Pokemon gather. There they have, um, parties. Scary parties. Only those who have clear Dust Norris speed slime may attend. However,. As you can see, Dustnor is no longer is not here, so we can't play the attraction. However, Ghastly's here. Ghastly. Is this the Dust Skull show you around? Come upstairs. I'll show you these are the rooms that never been opened. Huh. You know, for us being a complete stranger, they're pretty nice around here. Anyways, though, let's go see if we can go find them. So as you can see, the hotel not not the hotel. Uh Hotel Pikachu, yes, not Hotel Mario, Hotel Pikachu. Um the Haunted Manor is split up into basically three parts. You have the corridors over here, the main hallway, and the ballroom, which is where the, uh, the parties are going on, apparently. And I want me some of that. I want to join the parties. You know what I'm saying? Try and turn this room. Freaking ghost getting it to go for any door they want. He doesn't just open one. He opens two. Well, no, no, no. We can't have two. We have to have... Free. Blue jewel doors have opened. That's gonna matter a little bit here because the doors have different types of jewels on them to indicate which part of each zone that the gassies are gonna help you in. And this one's the blue one, so every door with a blue jewel on it is opened for you now. Let's talk to him. I really do enjoy. Wait, I really enjoy doing things for others, but I seem to scare them. I just don't know why. I don't know, maybe because you're an ominous purple ball of gas, which I'm pretty sure could kill a human, just saying. And yes, we want to play Chase with you, of course. Just after I say you're an ominous uh, purple ball of death, essentially, we totally want to play Chase with you. As you can see, Gasly's going to move pretty slow. Until now, where he's like, wee! Look at him bo- Whoa! How did I hit him? Uh, <laughs> all right, I'll take it. Good job catching me. I had fun. I consider all Ghastly friends of yours. I don't even know how I hit you, Ghastly. Seriously, like, I flew up there and, like, my tail apparently smacked you, apparently. It's like Pikachu's up, uh, up air and melee. It's a semi-spike. Like, jeez. And... Oh, hey there. Hey there. It's not often you see anyone around here. Why are you in a painting? <laughs> That's a long story. Short version is that I got tired of everything on the outside, you know? I decided to move into the painting, where it's lovely and quiet. Uh-oh. The bell's rung. Now you've done it, Dustnor will be here soon. Then its attraction will start up with all its noise and chaos. Mind you, if I play it, you'll really have something to brag about in the spirit world. Huh. Well, let's talk to him again. My! You do have a lot of friends. Don't you find it a terrible hassle? No, you're not like me at all. I suppose you must be interesting. Very well, I'll come out. <laughs> I like it how it's like the plunger sound when it does that. I always love that. But yeah, Gengar's here. Hmm, the arrow sign is much more refreshing than I remembered. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna play like a mad thing. Uh, Gengar, do you wanna... You wanna hang out with me? I kinda like you a lot. It's been a while since I came out of that painting. I'm gonna take the chance to play like I haven't played in a long time. Come on, let's battle. Alright, Gengar, show me what you got. Haha, <laughs> don't be surprised. For HP meters, and it's a ghost type, this should be hard. Let's see what we got. And my jump actually hits people! 
All right then. And, whoa, okay, that's a deadly, that's a deadly homing shadow ball. Jeez. Okay, Gengar, you actually already proved that you're pretty tough. Fuck him out. Okay, let's see what else you got. Oh god, here comes the shadow ball. Whoa, Jesus. Oh god. I know I missed. Whoa, what the hell was that move? That was cool as heck. What? May look cool, but oh, I probably should have iron tailed him. Crap. Oh, uh, let's see here. There we go. Jump into him. <laughs> I love how jumping is actually an attack. I like. I knew like jumping actually like in some things like it would work in chase, but I didn't know it actually did damage in battle. You win. What are you smirking for? Huh. Well, I guess we should be friends. You have to let me handle the haunted zone attractions though. All right, just like that. Possibly my favorite ghost type is now our friend. Life is good. <laughs> Anyways, though, let us keep moving forward. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I really shouldn't have Mountain Dew when I'm recording, because Mountain Dew makes me burp like crazy. But it gives me energy, so I like it. Hey, Alakid, I didn't see you there. What are you doing? I'm not scared of this haunted house at all. I love a little bit more excited. How about playing hide and seek? Oh, uh, in a haunted house? Yeah, uh, you see, this is where missing child cases uh, occur. Just saying. All right, Elicate is a bright yellow. Probably meaning this won't last very long. Uh, let's see. It's probably in here. Uh, no, nope, not in the wall over here. Hello? So much for being stupid easy. Where the heck is he? No, he's not this way. All right. Sorry, Hunter. All right, where did he go? Uh, up the stairs, maybe? Hello? Hello, kid? Elkid! 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 Haha! -ha, got him! Three seconds! I was like, where the heck did he go? But I got him! Yes! Ah, oh, you found me! Well, I can't help sending out. I'm Charmin. Can I be your friend? Be sure to tell me when you play attractions. Good game, Elkid. You almost won that with three seconds to spare. And also, Electabuzz has arrived! Because before we couldn't befriend Electabuzz only trained with him, but now we can befriend him! And you best believe we're doing so, as soon as I see him. He's probably over here then. Yep, there he is. Like a bunch of Pokemon over here, including Hunter, which we'll talk to in a minute. <coughs> Elgin gets scared easily. I wonder why he's here. Wanna battle with me? Sure thing. Alright, let's begin. Okay, I like the buzz. Show me what you got. You got Swift. No offense, buddy, but Swift is an awful move. You may want to replace that. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, takedown, maybe? I don't know. Uh, I don't think Thunderbolt works on him. Let me just check this out. No, it doesn't. No one temporarily annoys him. But Iron Tail does. I give in. I give in. You're pretty good. Why don't you be my friend? Tell me when to play attractions. What's that? Oh, I like to buzz at the meeting place of my big brother. He's a lot stronger than I am. Huh. Good to know. Alright then. And now, one last thing. Or the last Pokemon of a friend at least. A trick! Sorry, Hunter. I thought he was gonna kill me. Okay, we're fine. Oh, where'd he go? Um, hello? Hunt. Hunt. Oh, hey, bud. Where are you going? Stop teleporting. Jeez. As he's guiding you around the haunted house, that's gonna make himself sound scary on purpose. You wanna play Chase? Sure thing, Hunter. Gahahaha. You ready? I, like it. I, lo I love it when people don't just go like, haha, or not to like, gahahaha, or foo hoo hoo. Let's go. Ed. Oh, where do you- up. Oh. He's teleporting? Okay, he's going that way. Alright. Oh, uh... Alright. <laughs> My plan was to get ahead of him and then, like, try and, like, intercept him. So, like, I'd go, like, in front of him and then jump at him before he teleports. But, nope, that works, too. <laughs> I'm surprised. You're quite good a runner. Should we be friends? Don't forget to let me know when you're going to play attractions. Jeez, everyone here loves the attractions, apparently. Jeez. Anyways, though, for now... Oh, wait. Other way around. 
Dust Noir is here now. If we want to, we can go play his attraction, which we're going to have to if we want to get into the main hall or the ballroom, I guess you could say. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing on the next episode of Polka Park Pikachu's Adventure. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And next time, well, I already said it. We're going to go play with Dust Noir. And oh, jeez, I forgot his stomach is a mouth. I forgot his stomach is actually a mouth. <laughs> jeez, uh, yeah. Okay, that's kind of freaking me out, dude. Stop, I'm changing the camera. Uh, but yeah, we are going to go play his attraction and hopefully win so we can get access, uh, access, access into the ballroom. All right, see you guys then. I don't know why I said it like that. See you guys then.